Alright, hey guys, welcome back to Phantom Weather Channel. In this video, I'll be going over the upcoming precipitation patterns and upcoming temperature patterns for this upcoming week, so you guys can learn how you should plan your week. I'm sorry I've been gone for a little while. Uh, the past couple days, there hasn't been much to talk about in the weather, I feel like. Um, but we're back now, so this is what I'm going to be going over in this video. Um, but before I get into this video, I would ask that you do subscribe if you like my videos and want to see more. And also be sure to write a comment down below of what weather-related topic you want to see covered in the next video. And I'll try to make a video for you guys. But as for this video, I will be talking about, like I said, the upcoming temperature and precipitation patterns for this upcoming week. And you can see from now until November 7th, which is um, seven days from now, so a week, uh, you can see that the biggest highlight for sure, as far as the temperature goes, you can see that as far as the mainland U.S. goes, not including Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and Alaska, there are no areas in the United States that will see below average temperatures. Everywhere in the United States is supposed to have above average temperatures, except for portions of the Northeast that will see normal temperatures, or at least close to normal temperatures. But you can see there is an extremely large warm-up for all of Washington, Oregon, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, um, lots of Montana, but also some of North Dakota, South Dakota, all of all of Nebraska, most of Kansas, and also some of northern Oklahoma, northern Texas, northern New Mexico, and northern Arizona, and again, most of California as well. All these areas out west will see extremely above average temperatures these next seven days. Uh, we'll actually see, see temperatures estimated 12 degrees plus above what is average for these areas. Uh, you can see for all of the United States, except for some of northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and all of Maine, or almost all of Maine, except for the far southern corner, and also some of far upstate New York, these areas have a chance of seeing uh, temperatures that could be potentially one, one, one to two degrees uh, or at least one degrees above or below average, but for the most part, these are going to be pretty close to normal temperatures for these regions. If not, expect it to be exactly normal for these regions. Um, but you can see definitely out west, we are expecting some extremely above average temperatures. Um, all of Michigan, southwest Michigan, and also some of eastern, or sorry, uh, western upper Michigan. These areas will see pretty far above average temperatures, about five to six degrees above average. And then also, portions of central Michigan and the western UP will see also some temperatures that are about four or five degrees above average. And then also some of north northeastern upper Michigan and eastern upper Michigan. These areas will see uh, temperatures that are around two to three degrees above average. Um, but for all the United States, we're supposed to have some very, very above average temperatures, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but still, it's not, we're not expected to have any below average temperatures for these regions, so it's definitely going to be a major warm up for the entire country. Um, but now that you guys have seen the precipitate, the, sorry, the temperature patterns, I'm going to show you guys the precipitation patterns with the model run from Tropical Tidbits. Alright, so I apologize, I had to flip the camera around so you guys can see this a little bit better. Um, but I'm only going to take you guys about halfway through the model run. So this is currently right now, and you can see for the most part, there's really nothing going on in the U.S. right now. We have a couple areas of uh, low pressure in northern Michigan, actually some high wind warnings in the Upper Peninsula and some wind advisories in West Michigan for tomorrow. Very, very windy for lots of the Midwest and Great Lakes tomorrow. But you can see there's really nothing going on. We have some um, borderline heavy rain in southern Florida and then perhaps a couple showers in, in uh, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And then the snow isn't even touching the Minnesota-Canada border. So really there's not much going on right now. Um, this is going to move every six hours, I believe, is every time that this will make a movement. You can see the pressure system is going through. Um, the more condensed these black bands are, this is where um, the higher the winds are, so keep that in mind. All right, so this is six hours later. Again, this is for November 1st, which is tomorrow. You can see by this point, on, no on November 1st, you can see that at this point there's been a storm system that's moved into Michigan. A pretty strong cold front bringing some very strong winds. It uh, could also br bring some snow. There's been some winter weather advisories that have been issued for Michigan. And then there's also a couple of rain showers again in the southeast. But again, nothing crazy. Our biggest focus for tomorrow is centered on um, Michigan and the Great Lakes area. You can see a strong cold front bringing high winds. Are some very gusty winds and also some snow that could mix in. 
Uh, six hours later, you'll see the snow portion has moved out of southeastern Michigan, could perhaps bring some dustings there. And then the snow gets also heavier as it's in Canada right now, and some of northern Ohio too could see some snow. Uh, the heaviest accumulations will be seen in the Upper Peninsula and also some of north, um, north central Lower Michigan and north central western, western Lower Michigan. I uh, could see lo local totals of two to five inches and potentially three to six inches. All right, this is on November 2nd. Again, this moved every six hours. You can see there's still some snow going on in the nor in, uh, northern Michigan. But you can see now our biggest highlight is just off the coast. You can see that that uh, snow has transitioned to some rain showers. We have some heavy stuff going on the coast of North Carolina and um, also s some of the northeastern coast. I'm only going to take you guys halfway through the model run so it doesn't get too off topic because it can kind of you know, be inaccurate as the system moves through because it's so far out. Um, but this is still a really good website to use. This is every six hours. I'm not going through it that much because you can see there's not really much that's happening for the United States. So you can see overall so far it's from now until November 4th, so a couple of days, we're going to have some pretty calm weather, possibly some heavy showers in Washington and the Pacific Northwest. But other than that, we haven't seen much activity and some snow showers in the Northeast. This is by November 6th, and you can see, again, there still hasn't been much activity. But now we're going to bring it up to here in Friday, November 6th, and you can see that some pretty heavy snow accumulations for portions of Montana and Idaho, followed by an area of heavy rain. This looks to be about uh, three, three to four inches or so for these areas, it looks like, uh, in a period of six hours. So definitely a storm system moving in through there, but again, uh, nothing too major. Could bring some heavy snow accumulations of around four inches or so. So be on the lookout for um, potentially some winter weather advisories or winter storm warnings if you move in, if you live in those regions. And then that system will pass through, and it looks like it will kind of backtrack actually into another system, which will cause some snow out west. And now you can see by this point in the Pacific Northwest, we're seeing quite a bit of snow, pretty widespread snow in Montana, Oregon, Nevada, and Utah. Obviously nothing too uh, abnormal for these regions. But again, this week is supposed to be extremely hot out west. You can see some more uh, heavy snow moving through. By this point, this is on Sunday, November 8th. And this is as far as I'm going to take you guys through the run, but you can see that by this point, Sunday, November 8th, it's still pretty far out. We have some heavy snow accumulations again in Montana and Colorado and Idaho. Also, it looks like some of, um, or sorry, Wyoming, and then also some of Colorado, Utah, and then uh, possibly some snow continuing for New Mexico, Nevada, and some showers west of that. This is when we will see some heavy snow, it looks like. It looks like around six inches, up to six inches, will be possible for portions of the uh, northwest, but mainly a line extending from Montana through Wyoming. I uh, will see some pretty heavy snow accumulations by Sunday, November 8th. So that's what I wanted to discuss with you guys in this video. I'm sorry I had to get rid of the old intro. It got lost in files, but I'll try to make a new one for you guys. Um, but that's what I wanted to talk about with you guys in this video. Again, be sure to write a comment down below of a storm-related topic you want to see covered in the next video, and I'll try to make a video just for you guys. In the meantime, be sure to drop a like on the video, tell me if you want to see more, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, Phantom Squad.